Hello guys, myself Pawan and you are watching Optimistic Coder and in this video we are going to design a simple login interface with the help of Swing. It will be a beginner friendly video so watch the video till the end and let's get started. So first go and create a project. And let's create the project name as login. Click on finish. Create a new package. Let's create as com dot. Let, let's keep the package name as login. Click on finish. That's our package. Let's create a new builder class. So let's go to others and you will get application window in window builder. Just go on to the next, give the class name. It is just asking you the class name. So let's give login and click on finish. So this is our login.java and a predefined code will be given. So just click on the design section and you will move on to design part where you can design the interface. If you are not very much clear with how Swing is working, what all are the AWT packages or what all are the components that are available in Swing, you can go check out the video that I've already created. It will help you understand how Swing is all about and how it is working. So let's quickly create an interface. So we'll just drag it till here, the frame. Okay. And we need two labels. Okay. We, before that, we will just take an absolute layout. Just put it in there. Take a label. Again, keep it right here. I will just give the label name as username. Okay and this is username okay and we can just increase the font size to 19 or 25 yes yes and make it bold and Keep it as Arial. Okay. Click on OK. Just increase the size of the label and you will get the label. Okay. So that's our label. And next is just make a copy out of it. Paste it here. Change the label reference variable name as password and the name will be password2 cool and that's it now we need to text field so we will just take j field just place it right around here okay increase the size of it a bit okay you can give the name as txt username and we can make the font as equal to the label name let's make it 25 and keep it as Arial okay now just copy the same thing and place it exactly below of that and that's our password field so just keep it as txt password and that's it and we need three buttons one button is for login 
just increase the size of it okay so we will give this as ptn login and we can give the name as login and just change the size to 25 and make it a tutorial okay after creating this just copy the button place it at the center copy again place it at the end we can make this as a close button that is btn close and we can write it here as close whereas we can give for this button as reset so it will be btn reset for the reference variable and we can give the name as reset okay so we are done with the interface so close button will close the window reset will reset whatever the content that is there in the text field whereas in login if you click it there will be a pop-up coming up that whether your login is correct or whether it is an incorrect so let's move on to the implementation part and for that let's move with the first one that is on clicking on this button it should close so you just if you want to go to that particular click listener event you just need to double click and you just go into the actual event and that is click listener so here what we need to do is with the the frame that we have we need to close it so if you go and click on that button it should close to to close it we have the reference variable that is frame dot dispose and it's eventually going to close that particular frame so let's run the program and see what's the interface so the interface looks something like this if you click on this it closes the window cool now let's move on to the next part is the reset part so if you click on reset whatever the contents there in the text field will eventually get turned down to nothing so let's go on use the text field that is txt username dot set text and we can just keep it as nothing and we can use for the password field also dot set text and keep it as nothing let's save it and let's run the program and see so if i type it something and if i click on reset it just goes off now the bit logical part here is the log login login part in which if you click on it it will validate whether the content there in the field is proper or not and if it is proper you will get a login message that you are the authorized user so for that let's create an if else condition simple if else so in this if else we will take the content from the text field so let's first take the content from the text field that is user text so txt username dot get text dot to string dot equals and we will just pass on here as user the username will be user and i need to compare it that is for txt password should also be equal to some value so i will just write the value as dot equals we can give the value as one two three for now so that's our condition in the if block and if it satisfies then it's good if it doesn't then the else part will work okay so let's use j option pane j option pane dot show message and here we can use frame and here we can just pass on the object 
whatever the object whatever the sentence that you want like login successful and that's it and here we invalid user okay let's save it and run the program and see so the password username is user password is one two three if you click on login login is successful if you want to reset you can reset it and if you want to close it you can close it but one thing that you can hear one thing that you will note here is the password field is showing up whatever we are typing so how can we make it as a field where it should not show the content it should show either dots or star if you do that if you want to do that you need to use echo care and if you need to use echo care you need to use password field so instead of using the text fields of jtx field instead of that we can use j password field so for that okay so it's here text password field text field we can just make it as password field okay so that is done we can just move on to the bottom part done okay so password field is done now what we have to do here is we just need to make one thing that is txt txt password dot okay set echo care and we can set it with the star cool so we have passed the echo care too so now if we write here as any username user one two three so you can see it's not showing up and if you click on login it shows you what it is and if your password is mistyped then it says invalid user if you want to reset the content you can reset it if you want to close it you can close it so that's all in today's videos guys i hope you liked the video if you liked it please hit like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment below i will see you in the next video till then bye bye